<laughs> oh boy. Look at all of the blood. Holy crap. Blood literally everywhere. There's footsteps on the ground. This guy's disturbing looking. Oh my word, that is... <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm really excited to showcase an experience today that not only am I excited to play, but I'm also in the game, which is just crazy cool. I love investigative murder discovery shows, movies, and games like the original Point and Click Police Quest. This is a VR ode to those styles of investigative games, and it is one of the most bloody games, surprisingly, that I've played on the Quest platform. Realism, anyways, in blood. It, it, you'll have to wait and see exactly what I mean, but if you're interested in playing this game, there's a link in the description that goes to the page on the Quest store. It's available on App Lab for $9.99. It's the first episode in a series of episodes, and the next episode is a free update. Now, don't forget, just because this is on App Lab doesn't mean you need a PC to sideload this game. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description or go to the link in your Quest headset. You can even do it from there, but all you do is add it to your Quest library, and it pops right up in your library on your quest. So it's as easy as that. Let's jump in and check out David Slade Mysteries on the Oculus Quest 2. All right, here we are inside of the game, and I've got to say I'm very excited about this game for a couple different reasons. One of them I'm going to show you right now. The other one is because I love mystery type of games. We're in uh, this office, this police office now. It's time to go investigate some uh, a murder, apparently. And uh, it's a dartboard, look at that. And, but first though, I want to show you one really cool thing. Let's pick up this remote. Claiming it's me. Claiming his third victim in as little as 30 days. A woman's body washed ashore <laughs> early this morning that's, at the Green Hills Reservoir. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, all right, here we are inside of the game. It's time to do some investigating. This is a murder investigation game, and I'm excited as we're going to jump in <laughs> and try to uh, uh, play this and see if I can solve this game. I actually played a piece of this game previously. I didn't finish it because I wanted to get this update. It's been completely updated. And of course, it's on App Lab now. <laughs> Just open up the freaking Trust door. Trust me, sir. I am with the RSPD. Okay, hold on. There I'll we go. Thank you. All right, now we're inside here. So you, uh, you get these little investigative icons. I'm not gonna touch every single one because I've been through here and I know which ones, uh, which one, what, what certain ones do. But there's a whole bunch of different spots you can point at and touch, and you can pretty much investigate everything in here. And uh, this game looks a lot better. The last time I played it, it was, uh, it was an earlier version of it. It's been completely redesigned. This looks like a very rundown. <laughs> As place I approached now. Department 202, I did in fact notice a strange smell coming from within. I did not know what to expect, but I knew it was not good. Strange smell. That's not good. Maybe it's the trash laying on the floor. 202. Hello, Mr. Mathers? This is the RSPD. I'm here to make sure you're all right. The door is locked. I need to find a way inside. All right. I'm going to do my best not to ruin this game for you if you're going to play it as uh, the puzzles. I've done some of them, but I am going to show some of them. Um, first of all, there's a key here. And um, this key goes to something specific. The door is locked. This, yeah, it's there not has this to be door. A way to get inside. <laughs> but we can go downstairs and use this key. I'm going to show you this puzzle first. Um, and then after this, I'm going to do my best to kind of hide the puzzle answers a little bit just so that you can figure them out on your own. But this actually goes here. A small puzzle box. Look at that. I wonder what's inside. Let's take it out and see. Alrighty then. So now this is a puzzle box. I'm going to solve this puzzle and we'll be right back. All right, so inside of the puzzle box was a spare key for the apartment. You can reach over your shoulder. Oops, that's the wrong one. I'll show you that one in just a second. There's an inventory here. So we'll drop it in the inventory. Over your left shoulder is an inventory. Over your right shoulder is your police gear, camera, baggies, all your forensic tools, and your field essentials. Obviously, you need a police ID, some phones, cuffs, stuff like that. So let's go back upstairs and go into this apartment and see what the heck's going on and what this smell is, where it's coming from. I love uh, investigative type of games, so this one definitely piqued my interest right away, and I, uh, I'm just excited to see where it goes. Like I said, I played a little bit of this game previously, and I'm excited to see exactly what happens with the game. Mr. Mathers, right, here we go. I'm coming in. As I entered the apartment, the first thing I noticed was a large pool of blood in the kitchen dining area. Oh boy. I thought good. that would be a good place to start my investigation. Yeah, sounds good to me. Um, ooh, look, somebody had some pancakes this morning and some pirate charms. There's some blood over here. 
What we gotta do is investigate. So you gotta find the different clues, look around the apartment, find different uh, different samples for blood. Turn the camera on. You take a photo once it's green. Oops, actually got a large first. pool of blood. And Something then, bad happened here, but as to what, I'm not sure. I need to right. investigate further before drawing any conclusions. All right, I should good. photograph and collect evidence like this if I want to find out what really happened. All right. That's the photograph right there. That adds your little evidence marker. Um, this is an introductory mission, so there's probably going to be a lot of introductory stuff in it. And then you're going to do a swab like this. Swab it, and you just let it go, and it automatically collects your evidence. Now, let's see what else you've got. Oh, you've got something else over there. There's a coffee cup here. Hmm, two coffee mugs. It looks okay. like someone was here with Mr. Mathers. Maybe an argument right. broke out? Pure speculation presently. I need to keep looking. All right, what do we got here? A blood-covered pot. Was okay. this the starting point to something greater? Maybe they hit him over the head with a pot. Take a picture of that. Should get some uh, evidence of that, too. Oops, there we go. Grab the swab for that one. I don't know if we need to swab it. I guess not, we won't swab that one. Whatever this is, what's this? A drop of blood. Oh, I should follow the trail and see where it leads. I wonder if I'm supposed to take a picture of that, too. Yep, okay. Gonna try to follow all the blood. Follow the blood, follow the blood. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Oh, here, here's some more blood right here. Another drop of blood. All right, what do we got here? Another forensic tool. Gotcha. Now this obviously is not an action-packed game. It's not meant to be an action-packed, super speedy, solve this mystery really fast type of game. Oh boy, what's this? We got uh, some more blood on the ground here. Hmm. And it looks like There's blood, blood on the, on the door's handle. Another drop of blood. Yep. There we go. Now let's take some swabs of both of those. That. The door is like locked. That. All right, so the door's locked. I need a key. Let's find a key somewhere. It looks like somebody rifled through this stuff. All right, we got a picture here. Mr. Mathers, I assume? Mr. Mathers and maybe his wife? ex-wife or whatever it is all right let's go see if we can figure out where to go to get into this into this uh, room over here what's this room here oh yes as I uh, entered the bedroom, bedroom I noticed the desk ransacked. was completely ransacked a nightstand was tipped over and there was clothing the closet is locked closets locked okay there's some rain going on outside out this window I see the city nightlife down below all right what do we got in here anything interesting going on in here there's a desk over here. The desk has been ransacked. There's nothing of interest here. Okay. There's a... Can't do anything with that. What's an on here? An answering machine. One message. Ooh, a message. Let's listen to the message. An answering machine. Hey, One Jack, message. Hey, Bill. You are right. The killings in the late 1960s and 1970s are connected. The M.O. is identical. Hmm. You said you have a suspect. You also said that suspect lives in the same apartment complex as you do in room 203. Ah, uh, 203. Are you nuts moving in across the hall from him? Oh, here we go. What's this? Hmm. Scratch marks on the wall. I wonder what caused these. Can I open this? Maybe. Oh, it's look at a this. Safe, it's a safe. Which is okay. also locked. Something of great importance must be inside. A safe that's locked. Okay. Hmm. Now I need to find... The combination to that and a, key. a news article covering a murder from 1967. Huh. Teens unsolved slaying weighs heavily on mom. Okay. Oops, I just threw that behind them. <laughs> What's over here? Nothing over here. Nothing there's anything in here. I gotta find a key for this friggin' bathroom. Where the heck is the key? Alright, maybe I should kick down the bathroom door. What do you think? Kick it down? Uh what do we got? Some pans. The stove is empty. Where the heck would the key be, I wonder? Nothing in there. Oh, another, uh, this article article. is about an unsolved murder dated 1970. Huh, okay. 1970. Search all these cupboards and see what's in these cupboards and drawers. Can't get that one open, apparently. Uh, let me see. Maybe it's in the fridge? Hold on, let's open these up. Can I open the fridge? Oh, I can, okay. Oh, there we go, look, you got a... 
a chicken, got some eggs. Let's close this door before I break it off the hinges. Let's go open up this door and see what's in here, shall we? <laughs> oh boy. Look at all of the blood. Holy crap. Blood literally everywhere. There's footsteps on the ground. This guy's disturbing looking. Oh my word, that is... <laughs> <laughs> it never gets, it uh, never gets not old, but... Upon closer examination of Mr. Mathers, I can see the blunt force trauma to the back of his head. Wait a second, I see a deep cut around his neck from ear to ear. That was what killed him. <laughs> this is something, isn't it? Alright, let's get some pictures. There we go. That's everything. a lot of blood. Yeah, By the no looks of it, the killer was barefoot at the time of the murder. Barefooted killer. A blood. That's what this sick. killer is going to be called. The, the killer must have washed up here. Oh, look at that toilet paper's ruined. It ain't worth it anymore. Handprint. No luck with any fingerprints here. All right. Ooh, what the? It looks like Mr. Mathers put up quite a fight. He has a handful of the killer's hair. Okay. This. His eyes show signs of particular hemorrhaging, which Gross. is an indication that he was strangled. <laughs> I think this was the killer's twisted way of making him suffer even more. Strangled, slashed, hit in the back of the head. Hey, it looks like there's something yeah, there in his mouth. I, I should photograph it first and then bag it. I think I already photographed it, but let's do that. Alright. Bag it and tag it. I get it out of there? Maybe I don't need that. Maybe I just need to grab it. Oh, I just grab it. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Don't want to lose that. Oh. Stop! RSPD! What was that? What the frig was that? Did you hear that? There's a knife here. That wasn't here before. <laughs> hey, wait a second. This knife was not here a second ago. Yeah. This must have been dropped by that guy when he fled the scene. All right. Can I pick it up? Nope, I can't pick it up. Oh, I can pick up my gun now. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's get the rest of the evidence here. I'm going to go out and find out whoever just did that to me. Or not to me, but somebody just dropped something out there. So, uh... Did I get that? I must have. Yeah, okay. I must have got that. We got uh, key evidence 19, sub evidence 31. Total evidence collected 25 or 36. Okay. There we go. That's what I got to do. Oh, what's this? His carotid artery has been cut uh, clean through. Of course. He bled out fast. <laughs> this is what finally killed him. The cut is not clean, however, so it appears a serrated blade of some sort was used. Serrated blade, like the one over there. Okay. Not sure I need swabs of blood from this dude. Considering I'm pretty sure that's the uh that's his blood. <laughs> Not sure I need swabs there. I need to get into that thing though. Need to get into that somehow. Alright, um Now what? I guess we might as well go confront the dude across the street, should we? I'm not sure I want to. Hello, this is the RSPD. Is anyone home? Music's freaking creepy. Date, date, it's the key. What does this mean? This is all over. I need to go buy a VR headset. <laughs> Let's save the game. There we go. It's saved. Didn't realize you could do that. Ooh, here's more here. A blood soaked towel. The killer must have used this to clean up. Oops. Lucky for me, he did not do a very good job. <laughs> not a good job at all. Alright, there's more evidence. Anything in here? What's this? Out this window, I see the city nightlife down below. Okay. Alright, anything else in here I can investigate? Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Music's getting creepier and creepier. Oh, it's... It's not locked anymore. Did you see this? It was locked before. Locked? The person was in here. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's what it was. The friggin' person was in this place when I was in this room. Oh, that's creepy as heck. 
All right, see if I can get this open again. We gotta figure out what this combination is. What did you use, buddy? What is your six digit code? Where is the information? I need it. Maybe it's shampoo. Um, did you take that off the wall? Nope. It's hidden underneath or in something. Where in the heck is it? Just tell me your code, buddy, please. That would be uh, that'd be the easiest way to go about it, if you could just tell me what your six-digit code is. There you go, there is some gameplay for the David Slade Mysteries game, available now on App Lab for $9.99. Now, I did, I will admit, stop playing the game right around when I stopped the video. I haven't jumped back in yet because I was a little bit stuck. I needed a time to think about where this combination might be. I have some ideas, and I also didn't want to ruin the whole episode for you. So if you want to play the game, there's a link in the description. It is $9.99. There is an update coming with an additional chapter or episode into this game that's a free update and I personally really enjoyed the game I think that for what I've played anyways it's really fun and it's pretty cool to jump into a murder mystery in a different way than most VR games allow you to do that if you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest too don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications plus you can check out even more of my videos right there thank you so much for watching stay safe and happy questing